Good morning. Welcome to our Monday Morning Motivation. Pastor Foster is my name. I'm the senior pastor here in Springdale and Beachside. We do a little segment on uh, Monday morning just to give you a little encouragement for the week and a little start. Trust you had a good weekend and you have made uh, your way possible to attend church. And if you couldn't attend in person, you attended online. But it's always better to attend in person. And now we're starting to have restrictions lifted. We encourage you to come out and be a part of live worship. And if you're not from Springdale, Beachside, then find yourself in the church in your own time. Very important. I want to just encourage you strongly to do that this morning. Also want to encourage you to register for our upcoming week's events. We have a live service on Wednesday evening. We have our Roots closing. We have our Next Gen student ministry, our Vine ministry, Pastor Blair. We've got a watch party happening for our uh, for our YB and that's going to be a real great event and so all the kids need to get out, the students need to get out for that and contact Pastor Blair, it's on our Vine student page, our Facebook page, that'll be great to be a part of it so we encourage you to do that. And uh, today I'm, I'm in Little Bay Islands and doing this segment from Little Bay Islands and we'll show a few shots around the island in a moment and uh, my cameraman uh, today is uh, a little different than the usual cameraman that I, that I have and I just want to thank him and just shout out to him today. Thanks, Luke, for helping me. I really appreciate that. And uh, we're here and we're just having a little cup of tea and, and even having a few lobsters aboard the Sydney P. And it's a great, great day with the young family. Really appreciate it. Little Bay Islands, some of you have been here. Some of you have not been here. And uh, it's a great place to visit. It's a resettled community. Right now, there's only one full-time, one family full-time resident in Little Bay Islands. And back in the day, years ago, it was a very active community, strong, a strong business presence here, fishery, Labrador fishery, and I talk about a strong business presence, the strong name, strong merchants. We're a big family here in Little Bay Islands and, and lots of activity, fish plant, we'll show you some pictures of that around, and uh, a lot of things happening. I even worked for a short period of time in that old fish plant many, many years ago. And, but the community has been resettled. There's an empty school here. There's an empty church couple empty churches, a lot of seasonal cottages. People come out for a short span of time, but most of the places are abandoned. Some of the old houses are abandoned. And it's sad to see that, but many of our Newfoundland communities are that way now. The outport ones and maybe more to come, I don't know. I don't want to speak prophetically, but maybe more to come. But I'm reminded of a scripture. I'm reminded of, in fact, I'm reminded of a number of scriptures. The Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you, Scripture. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 comes to mind. But I did a little quick study on my, my phone, on my Bible hat, and there are 25 never will I leave you, never will I forsake you references in the Bible. That's a lot. The Bible tells us very clearly God doesn't leave, God doesn't forsake, God doesn't resettle. And I want to just encourage you today, God doesn't have a resettlement plan for your life except to take you out of the darkness of sin and bring you into the glorious light of the gospel. And after that, God doesn't leave us. He doesn't leave us. You may make some mistakes and fail and fall down. We all do. Uh, made one today. And, uh, but uh, God doesn't leave. And God doesn't forsake and God doesn't fail us. So please be encouraged with that. Maybe you need to hear that this week. Maybe you're feeling a little down and a little, a little bit of despair. And you need to be reminded that God doesn't leave us on the rocks. God doesn't uh, resettle us, abandon us. Uh, God occupies and God fills and God blesses and God keeps and God satisfies. So be encouraged today on this Monday morning. Walk with the Lord and put your confidence in Him. Can I lead you in a prayer? Father, we thank you for this day. I pray today your blessing upon all those who will listen right now and are listening maybe later on in the week. Watch over them this week, Lord. Give them courage. Give us blessing. We need you, Lord. We need you now more than ever. We pray for this today. We ask today, Lord, that you would remind every one of us that you don't leave, nor do you ever forsake. And we thank you for that promise. In Jesus' name we pray it. And all of us said, amen. Amen. Thanks and have a great day.